friends, welcome back to my channel. We are in a totally different spot today. I've got the messy bun in, I've got the wood projects in front of me. So that means we are getting down and dirty in the garage with some wood DIYs. I'm bringing to you three projects all involving trees for the upcoming fall and holiday season. And I wanna give a huge thank you to FlexiSpot for sponsoring today's video. This beautiful new desk you see in front of me is my new work table and I love it so much. So before we dive into the projects, let's take a little closer peek at this flexi spot. Y'all are gonna be in love. FlexiSpot is committed to perfect the work-life balance through innovative and ergonomic solutions. The desk I chose features a bamboo top, which I have learned is stronger than steel. It is super spacious, measuring 72 by 30 inches, with a dual lift mechanism that can hold up to 220 pounds. The motor is extremely quiet, and the one-touch LED control panel is easy to use. You can program it to remember your height settings. So what do you all think? Drop me a comment down below. I think this is gonna be a game changer for my DIYing. Just look how huge this thing is. Now, of course, it comes in a lot of different sizes. I do have a ton of information. I'm going to link it all down in the description box below so it's easy for you to find. I'll be using my Flexi Spot desk down here in the garage. So this is the wall I usually stage my furniture on. Um, sometimes I sit here and do my thrift hauls. It just depends if I want to carry stuff upstairs or not. But this is going to be a great wall for me to spread out and do my work on. And then also I can just slide the table out of the way when I need to photograph my furniture. I wanted to work on today's projects on the desk, so we are getting it opened up as soon as I receive it. It was really easy to put together. The instructions are easy to follow. This one is large. I did need help from another person to get it flipped over and put in place, but I was able to assemble everything easily on my own. Oh, I'm sweating. I have the garage door open, so it's hot. Pants are a bad choice. Okay. I am working in tight quarters as I am downsizing my decor and organizing everything, but this was plenty of room for me to open up the top. The package came in two different boxes. The bottom portion, the metal piece was in one box and the top came in this separate box. Look at all the wonderful packing and cardboard I got as well. I followed the instructions and added that adapter bracket. Now I'm just drilling the screws in per the instructions. Here is the LED control panel. It's going onto the front, screws on super easy. Now the legs are a little heavy, but I got them put in place and used an Allen wrench to secure them. Again, super easy to put together. Here I'm drilling on the control panel and the wires have step-by-step -step instructions on what goes where. I'll secure the feet to the bottom of the legs and then we put it in place. Overall, it took about, I'd say an hour and a half, maybe an hour and 15 minutes to get it put together. Wow, that's fancy. Here I'm reading the instructions on how to program the different heights to the little one-touch control panel. It was very easy. You push one button, you set the number, you change the height to the next setting you'd like, you push one button, you set the number. Can't go wrong with easy instructions. It also came with some little zip ties that had stickies on them. I could secure them to the underside of the table to hide all the wires. I love it. Y'all, this is gonna be a game changer. Now let's get to work. For project one, I am taking this old lamp and upcycling it into a spindle tree. Now this is a custom request. I don't take a lot of them, but I had an email from a customer she saw my spindle tree last year and really wanted one. I told her I would try and I ended up finding this lamp a couple days later. It was perfect. 
dug through my spindle stash and got some spindles that will work. I took the lamp apart, cut out the wiring, and now all I have left is the base and the dowel metal pole. So I'm assembling my spindles here and finding a tree shape. Then I will cut them to size to find that perfect triangle for my tree. Size, I used a wood bit on my drill and drilled 3 8 inch holes down through all the spindles. I've got DIY little black dress and I am painting the base of this. The customer had specific requests for the colors, black, neutral tones, and white. While the base dries, I'm taking my orbital sander and just sanding down the ends of my cuts and any rough spots. I'm painting some of the spindles with beadboard and prairie gray by DIY Paint. Now y'all will be able to find all of the paint and projects today over on my website, upcycledbybree.com. I love DIY Paint. One of the reasons is because it's water soluble until it's sealed. So I've got the base here, the paint's dry, and I'm just taking a wet rag and rubbing back some of that paint to expose the gold. I put a zip tie around the pole there that's going to help the spindles stay up a little higher on the pole and then I took it outside and used Rust-Oleum matte clear spray to seal it. I'm doing the same wet distressing technique on the spindles the customer wanted a good chippy look. Once they were dry, I took DIY clear wax and a chip brush to seal up all of the spindles. I love the DIY wax. It is buttery smooth and really easy to apply, so it made sealing a quick, easy process. Now it's time to assemble. And here is a peek at the final project. What do y'all think? I love these spindles trees. Like I said, I made one last year. This one is for a customer, but I'm going to do my best to find more parts to make some more for y'all before the upcoming holiday season. Drop me a comment below. Are you going to try this for yourself? And would you like me to make more? Project two is a thrift flip. These chicken wire hanging baskets I've had for a long time now. I thrifted them for about 250 each and they never sold in my booth. So I'm gonna cut off the wires or the chains here. They are totally tangled anyway. And we're gonna turn them into some tree shaped cloches. I decided to also pull off these metal rings that were on the bottom cause they made them sit funny on the wood. So I just used some pliers to do that. One of the bases, I'm using that same DIY beadboard to give it a white paint job. The piece of wood had old gray paint on it that was all scratched up. Give the cloche a little height, I am adding old wooden knobs onto the bottom. I went ahead and painted them up, hit them with the DIY clear wax, and a little bit of dark wax as well. I distressed the white piece of wood with some 220 grit sandpaper and brought that gray paint back through a bit for a good farmhouse distressed look. I'm going to go ahead and seal the white wood and all of the knob feet up with the same DIY clear wax. A little bit of dark wax will help the white feet blend in with the piece of wood that I left natural. My filming here, I think I pushed the wrong buttons. Sorry about that y'all, but I used some tight bond wood glue, glued the knobs onto the piece of wood and then used my pneumatic nail gun. You can see them both here on the table to nail down through the wood into the knob feet. Just take my word for it, I promise that's what I did. As that, now I have some beautiful tree-shaped cloche covers on beautiful reclaimed wood. 
I put a cute little mouse, some salvaged wood, and some Christmas greenery inside, but of course you could use these year round. I think a beautiful tall jar with some floral would look great inside as well. Drop me a comment below, let me know what you would put inside of these cloches. They are both available on my site, I will have the link down in the description box below. I wasn't sure if this last project was going to turn out, but I think it came out super cute, so I'm excited to know what y'all think. I'm using these little pieces of bent wood off of some chairs. I have salvaged a ton of chairs, and I've used these for a couple things, but I had a ton left, and I didn't know what to do with them. I started playing with them, and I thought they really looked like tree branches. So I'm starting off here by gluing two of them together and using my pneumatic nail gun to secure them. I've got that other piece of salvaged scrap wood that is going to be my tree trunk. Once I have my little triangle frame nailed together, as you see here, I set it on top of my little trunk and start nailing that to the side. You can see a couple of the little nails. As I build more and more, it covers them up. So it's not perfect, but it's a salvaged wood project and I think it came out pretty darn cute. If I had a couple more of these pieces, it would look a little more full, but I did get it looking full enough, I think. And I, I love this project. Let me know down below. Is this a bit of a stretch or do you like it? I have seen these done with driftwood before, but I thought this was a fun salvaged wood touch. I've only got one of these. It's a one of a kind piece. It is available on my site, but let me know down below if you are going to try to recreate this and if you think you can do even better. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Drop me a comment below. Let me know which of the three tree projects was your favorite. And again, huge thank you to FlexiSpot. I am so grateful for this beautiful desk. If y'all need to check out a FlexiSpot desk for yourself, check the description box below for all the information you will need. And again, thank you guys for continuing to support me when I have sponsored content. Things like this helps my business grow so much. Helps me invest into more products, more equipment, which will increase my video quality, etc. So thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell if you haven't yet so YouTube will let you know every time I upload a new video. Till next time, see y'all later. Bye friends. Okay, I'm going to be using my flexi spot desk down here in the garage. Why am I holding this? Ha, look at that. Well, she's a bit bigger than I, uh, <laughs> whoa, whoops.